3.8 billion years ago, the first organism arised on Earth. Through centuries, this organism has evolved into an enormous amount of different animals, including humans. Only 10,000 years ago, we still lived in the jungle among other beautiful animals. How did humans in such a short time leave the jungle and conquer an entire planet? Six million years ago, the first mother of the homo species, humans and chimpanzees died, and afterwards a crucial evolution of homo arised. Homo sapiens evolved in Africa 2.5 million years ago from a species called Australopithecus. 500,000 years later, the homo species spreads to Eurasia and different homo species arise. Neanderthal evolves in Europe while sapiens evolve in Africa. And two million years later, our species had changed the planet to a human empire. Homo sapiens at the time had already traveled far distances and for example read flowers by swimming and by using simple rafts, but they weren't able to travel a long way by sea back then. But nevertheless, they somehow reached the continent of Australia 45,000 years ago. Biologists still have difficulties by explaining this. To reach Australia, Homo sapiens had to cross straits that were over 100 kilometers wide, and from the moment they arrived to Australia, they had to instantly get used to the new environment Australia brought upon arrival. Biologists means that the Homo sapiens, who lived on the Indonesian peninsula on different islands 45,000 years ago, lived in the sapiens' first seafarer society. A society that learned and practiced how to maneuver and build different seagoing vessels, and with this knowledge, hereby reads Australia. Archaeologists have never found any evidence from old scattered rafts in Australia, but that would as well almost be impossible due to the sea level races throughout the years, resulting that if there existed any physical proof, it would be buried two kilometers down in the ocean. But the years after conquering Australia, Homo sapiens reached different islands north of Australia, which support this theory extremely. The conqueror of Australia is one of the human's biggest event ever. It is compared as important as Columbus' journey to America or the Apollo 11 expedition. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff! We have a liftoff! 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Homo sapiens, or humans, are the most intelligent of all animals. How did we achieve these big and intelligent brains? Well, it was one reason particularly. We learned to master a new element, called fire. Fire allowed us to prepare food that we weren't able to cook beforehand, like wheat, rice and potatoes, etc. It destroyed bacteria and parasites as well in all food. While chimpanzees use 5 hours a day eating raw food, humans can do it in 1 hour because of fire which can cook and fry our food. The opportunity to do this led to our intestinal system did not need to use as much energy as before. The intestinal system and brains are the organs using most energy of all in all animals. And when the human body didn't need to use as much energy on the intestinal system, it could use more energy on the brain. An evolutionary create bigger brains by time, which allowed the human brain to use three or four times more energy than other apes, and hereby make Homo sapiens the most intelligent being on Earth. Almost every human is part Neanderthal. As already told, the individuals of the Homo species that went to Europe and Western Asia that through evolution and generations turn into human Neanderthalis. Apes that were more muscular and heavier built than us, Homo sapiens. In 2010, when scientists completed the result of a Neanderthal genome from fossils, they compared it to the human's genome and was amazed. The human genome is 1-4% Neanderthal. Not a high number, but an important one. When the scientists completed the genome of Homo disanova, they found out that Melanesia people and native Australians had 6% disanova in their genes. Back in the day on the island of Flores in Indonesia, Homo species lived all by themselves, totally isolated from the rest of the world. 
Once the water levels were unusually low and it was possible to walk from the mainland to the island of Flores. When the water level suddenly raised, a lot of the homo species who had crossed the water were trapped on the island and isolated from the world. The big humans needing more food than others died first. Small humans survived much easier due to their decrease in their need of food. Through generation and evolution, the humans isolated on the island had become dwarves. They were only 1 meter or 3.2 feet tall and had a maximal weight of 25 kilos. They were able to create stone tools and occasionally when they were lucky to find an elephant they were able to kill it. Maybe they have lived among us back in the days, until they went extinct 12,000 years ago due to a volcano eruption. Homo erectus managed to survive for 2 million years, which makes them the longest living homo species that has walked on earth. Scientists think the reason they went extinct was because of the competition with us, Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens have lived throughout 300,000 years, which is far away from Homo erectus. The big question is, will we, humans, be able to compete with our old ancestor Erectus, or will we destroy ourselves with our intelligent brains, the melting ice caps, or global warming? Only the future knows.